this is the Rode NT Mini USB. NT USB Mini? NT USB Mini. This is the Rode NT USB Mini. And as much as this was a video to uh, unbox this uh, brand new little mini USB mic that I got, it's also a video to showcase Rode's brand new Rode Connect app, which came out very recently and um, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna cut to the intro now. And then when we come back, we're gonna look at the Rode Connect app and we're gonna look at whether that makes the Rode NT USB Mini a worthy competitor for most recommended mic for streamers. What's up guys, Kai24 back at your screens with more tech goodness and today I'm bringing you some more streaming tech in particular microphones and in particular to particular this Rode NT-USB mini microphone, which I just unboxed very dramatically in front of you guys. Particular in particular, particular to particular, does that make sense? Did, did that make any sense to you? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm blabbing as I usually do. Anyway, this uh, this this bad boy is, is actually quite old. Um, I don't know how old, but um, it came out a few years ago. Um, so it's been, I mean, it's been out for a while. It's not a brand new mic. The mic isn't brand new, right? So this, this the focus of this video isn't that, oh, new mic, have a look. It's a brand new mic. No, it's not, it's not. That's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is that this mic now has a companion app that can make it even better. You guys all know about the Elgato Wave uh, mics. Like, I, I love the Elgato Wave mic. I have the Elgato Wave 3. I use the Elgato Wave 3 as my main mic for pretty much everything. But the best thing about that mic is the software that it comes with, the Wavelink software. And Elgato are the only company so far that have provided something like that. A, a software made for streamers to companion its mic that makes life easier for streamers. And if you guys don't remember what the Wavelink uh, software does, here's the link to my unboxing video of the Wave mic. And um, that pretty much kind of showcases what it does. But basically it, it gives you a live GoXLR mixer. It's fantastic because you can route all your audio sources through it. Uh, and then you can take that mixer and route it through OBS. So when you're streaming, you've got all the sounds coming into your Wavelink software appearing on your stream without you having to add each of those sources individually in OBS. So that makes life a lot easier. Also, also, it gives you the option of controlling the volume of uh, all of those sources directly from your desktop much more easily without you having to open each individual app. So if you've got uh, teammates, uh, you know, teammate chat going on and you want to kind of turn down the chat in your head or you want to turn down the chat um, as it appears to the stream, you can do that straight from the Wavelink app, just kind of turn down Discord or whatever chat service you're using. Or if you've got Spotify running and you want to turn down Spotify, just have the Wavelink app open, turn that down. However, this isn't about the Wavelink app. This is about the Rode Connect app. And Rode Connect is basically Rode's brand new companion app to this uh, Rode NT-USB mini uh, microphone, uh, which they have brought out very recently. I think it's only been like a week or two since um, they've released this. And it's fairly new, it's still in early development, uh, but it's been released to the public and it only works with the NT-USB mini microphone, which is why I, as soon as I saw the Rode Connect app kind of uh, announced, I was like, ooh, must get this. Now, the difference between this and the Elgato Wave uh, mics are that the Elgato Wave mic is slightly more uh, expensive. Uh, this is a little bit cheaper, comes around the 90 pound bracket, a uh, $90 bracket, uh, depending on where you are. Um, but it's a very good, well-built mic. And so for all my streamer friends out there, this is a good option for you guys. And so without further ado, let's just get straight into this Rode Connect app and see kind of uh, what it offers us and how it might compare to the Wavelink software. So uh, right here, you can see in the setup uh, screen that it gives you the option uh, of adding up to four mics. Now, like I said, you can only add Rode NT-USB mini mics. Um, so here, if we just drag this up to there and if we click that uh, it will show you can see uh, the mic is kind of uh, it's flashing so the mic is flashing which identifies it as mic number one as you can see on the screen so um, what that means is basically you can have four of these bad boys hooked up into the Rode Connect app into the into the one PC one laptop one computer whatever it is you're using um, and they can all work through that one app meaning that you can control all of these mics through that one app. Now, if you're a streamer, that might not be very, uh, you know, that might not be uh, very important to you, uh, that might not apply to you, um, but this mic, uh, if you can already tell or not, was built with, uh, and, and the software was built with podcasters in mind. 
So if you're in a podcast or if you're you know, streaming with other people, um, kind of in a podcast style stream, or if you're doing an actual podcast, then you'd have multiple mics, multiple of these in a room, sitting around, and each of them can be identified as one, two, three, or four, and uh, you can connect all four of these mics through the same app. Now, the cool thing is that it actually comes with accessories that gives you kind of um, these caps and uh, identifiers like tags uh, that you can add to the USB uh, cables to identify very easily which mic it is, which makes um, the whole kind of podcast um, process, which makes the whole podcast process podcast process that's kind of a mouthful for me much easier basically it makes it heck of a lot easier to identify which mic uh, is which and then controlling the volume so if somebody's a little louder than somebody else and they're talking maybe a bit louder you can turn their volume down in the software and so forth. anyway let's let's get let's get on to it it was made for uh, podcasts um, however doesn't mean that streamers can't make use of this because it's still a fantastic software from the looks of it and here you've got i've already kind of added these in but you've got the option of adding two more uh, channels. So you've got a system audio channel, which I presume uh, takes all of your kind of system sounds and routes it through there. And then you've got a virtual audio channel, uh, which you can add kind of specific applications to. So if I were to open up something like Discord, then I could go in and I could choose uh, speakers, road connect, and it would probably put it through uh, the virtual channel in the app for me. So. If you just click next here you can see you can see me kind of talking into so i'm just going to face the mic towards myself now there we go uh, here you can see me talking into uh the mic i was talking at the mic and you can see my voice levels kind of showing up on uh, the software the road connect software here you can see the different channels we've got so if you had the other mics added in or if you had multiple mics you would see the channels one two three and four come in and then you've got the two virtual channels for the system and the kind of uh, virtual apps uh, appear here and so what you can do is you can take this fader and um, kind of toggle it around to change the volume that uh, of my voice input so you can see I've, as I've lowered it the uh, input volume has now reduced it's not peaking as much as it was before if I put it back up to the middle then uh, you know my voice is peaking again you can see it all live on the app which is good it's the same as what you can see in the Wavelink app when um, when you're speaking to that you can see the kind of audio levels bouncing around now obviously the Wavelink app was built with streamers in mind um, and it's fantastic however um, there are things in this app that the Wavelink app doesn't have and things in the Wavelink app that this doesn't have. Very obviously, they're not the same software. So there are a few couple of cool things that I kind of noticed. Um, and one of those is that, uh, that I was slightly disappointed by is that you can't add individual channels with this. Like I did, I couldn't, I fiddled around with it a bit, but I couldn't find a way to add individual kind of uh, audio channels into this. So I, if I wanted to route different types of audio in um, and control all of those separately, I can't do that. However, what I can do is I can route them kind of uh, through their individual apps into this and then kind of control them with these two sliders. But say if I've got multiple apps running and I put one of these sliders down, it's the same as kind of putting my system volume down and it would just kind of reduce the volume of everything uh, rather than me taking each program. So that was a little disappointing to me. However, it's still very useful because you know how many apps are you gonna have running at the same time? You might have one for system, which is like your your sound, your system sound, Spotify, everything else. And then you might have a specific one for your game audio and your chat audio. So um, uh, if you wanted to reduce those, say if you're in intermission and you wanna reduce that down, you don't want the game music and your chat kind of playing whilst you're talking to your uh, your, your viewers uh, in, in during the intermission screen, then you can put that volume down and, and uh, you know, when you go back into the game, you pump that volume back up. And it also, one of the features that I actually forgot to mention, it does have mic monitoring. So it does have a microphone jack here at the back, which um, basically uh, allows you to hear yourself back um, through mic monitoring. Uh, and that's very handy because then you can tell whether you're too loud or not as well. Um, the thing that this does have is it has this record button. So clearly this is made for podcasting. So um, if you were to record a podcast, uh, you'd have all of the mics go through and um, you'd be able to just kind of hit record there hit it and it would now uh, kind of record your voice as well as all the other voices so there is an option where you can record either the entire kind of stereo mix so all the all the audio sources going through in one go or multi-channel where it actually splits up all of the audio sources for you into different files, uh, which makes it a lot easier for you maybe in post-production if you're gonna be putting that podcast together and you wanna maybe kind of toggle around uh, with the audio in post. 
So that's a very handy feature. And remember, the Wavelink software versus the Rode Connect app are built with two different purposes in mind. The Wavelink app was built specifically for streamers with streamers in mind, whereas the Rode software seems to have been built uh, heavily with uh, podcasters in mind. That's the word. Um, now, another thing that, um, that I've been missing from the Wavelink software that I really like is this. So if, I, if you click on the different channels, um, well, especially the uh, mic channel, then you can see here you've got options for noise gate compressor, excite and big button, which is basically uh, to uh, edit your highs and the lows. So what you're basically able to do here is add a little bit of EQ and compression. Now, I'm not the biggest audiophile, so I don't know a lot about audio. I don't know about you know picking up differences in sound. If I hear it and it sounds good to me, that's good enough. And I'm presuming that's the same for most streamers where, you know, if it's sounding good and clear, then you're not very, you know, fussed about whether the highs are a bit too high or the lows are a bit too low. Or I don't even know what that means to be honest. I'm just kind of throwing the terms out. At you. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the best person to come for specific audio help, but I do know that uh, these can probably make a little bit of a difference in making you sound a little bit clearer, maybe getting rid of that uh, background noise the background buzz, uh, maybe uh, you know, clipping your uh, voice if you're peaking a bit too high and whatnot. But these options are great to have, especially if you do know about audio, and it is a good way of just kind of making your voice seem that little bit better. You can clearly also control um, kind of the level uh, of input that you're getting there. So all of these are great options that the Connect, uh, Rode Connect app have. So all in one, it seems like a solid app, and it is definitely something uh, that can be used for streamers. And uh, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. Because if you're looking to get a little bit more control over uh, your mic without having to kind of rely on third-party software, then uh, picking up mics like the Rode Connect, um, not the Rode Connect, the Rode NT-USB mic and the Elgato Wave mics um, are fantastic ideas in general. So I would recommend either of these mics, depending on your budget, depending on your preferences, depending on what you need it for. If you are gonna be doing podcast style streams or you're gonna be doing podcasts and stuff like that, then definitely the Rode NT-USB Mini paired with the Rode Connect app is a very good choice for you because it gives you that, that flexibility that you need and that control that you need when you're doing a podcast. However, if you're a core streamer uh, and you're just a solo streamer, then I would still recommend the Elgato Wave mic with the Wavelink software as the go-to mic. However, both of these are fantastic mics. I'm gonna do a very small uh, audio test with you guys just to show you what it sounds like, so. Okay, so now what you're hearing is directly through the mic. And I have plugged in some headphones to do some mic monitoring. And um, to me, it sounds quite nice. Like, it, it sounds quite clear. It sounds good. Like, again, I'm not a massive audiophile, so I don't know, uh, you know, I can only tell whether it sounds good or not. And to me, this sounds quite good. And, you know, uh, it, it would do the job. Like, it seems perfect for podcasts. And, and for streaming, you know, your audience will be able to hear you quite nice and clearly. And um, also it's nice and compact. So um, I do like that about it. Anyway, we're gonna switch back the audio to the main mic and uh, kind of wrap it up from there. And that's it guys, what else can I say? The Rode Connect app is definitely a good app. Um, they've done a good job with it. I mean, it's different to what the Wavelink offers. However, it is a good, um, in my opinion, a good uh, next best thing. Uh, to the Wavelink software. Uh, and they've done a very good job of it. It's not gonna be exactly the same, because um, again, uh, the kind of target audience for this app is slightly different. Um, though, you know, Rode has said that this can be used for streamers as well, and it definitely can be. So it's kind of up to you, personal preference. Do you like the quality of Rode mics? I mean, they're a fantastic microphone company. The kind of mic I'm using right now, which is my kind of directional mic, uh, directional shotgun mic, is a Rode mic, you know, Rode do fantastic microphone, fantastic audio gear. Um, and this is just another one example of that. Would I recommend this mic? Definitely. If you are in the market to get a microphone and you don't want to spend as much on the Elgato mic, uh, then this is definitely your next best thing. And in all honesty, sound wise, it sounds pretty much the same like to me. Um, I am going to be doing a microphone comparison very soon. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, that's all I'm going to say on this topic, guys. Road Connect app, fantastic. NT-USB mic, fantastic. Fantastic devices uh, with its own uses and kind of uh, own cool features. I'm going to leave you guys to it now. If you do want to kind of ask me more questions about the Rode mic, the Elgato mic, uh, tech in general, cameras, kind of streaming, whatever it is, then head over to Twitch where I do stream every single Monday. 
at 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, and I spend quite a big chunk of that kind of just talking to my audiences and chatting and answering questions and you know, just chilling. So come chill with me. Uh, all the links to my social medias in the description box below. Get clicking, get following. And if you did uh, like this video and it was useful to you, then do please hit that like button. And if you do find my videos useful in general, then please do subscribe. I've got loads of content coming your way. And uh, if you want to know exactly when that content comes out, then hit that notification bell. Until next time, everybody, this is Kai24 signing out.